Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. <gasps> oh, you scared me! He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Dog. Fuck that walker. I really don't like the fact that it just showed me that zombie was eating a dog. I love dogs. I'm not talking to a walker. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know? It was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget <laughs> right but then you know there it is you see it and you want to protect it and, and now it's gone that sucks maybe if Clive dies next we can put him out there instead he'd make a better watchdog anyway Becca Shell Becca something's going on outside what is it I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Something bad's happening. Oh no. As usual. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This moth. It was so care to be there. Jesus. Largum. La My God, La Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. 
and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. <laughs> well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He uh, could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. Well, what's to stop him from coming back and armed next time? We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. <sighs> We can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. We stole their boat from that teenage kid at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Yeah, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Set him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you'll wish you had died today. We gotta stay true. We have to, like, preserve life. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. And I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Don't let anyone else know about that spot. Just in case. In case of what? In case something happens and we need to get out of here in a hurry. We've got to always be prepared. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. 
What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. All right, Porsche for life. Uh, we're good. I had to start the whole chapter over again twice. And then finally, um, the glitch went away. Literally, I had to play it through two times. And uh, finally, I was able to... Uh, I was able to finish uh, the whole season, one through five. So, that was all good. And uh, big things happened. So, I, I mean, it's hard for me to like tell you exactly everything that happened. I do have a YouTube channel, so... If you want to go back and check that out, that's cool, but I was able to finish it. So we have finished now season one, or season one, episode one through five, and now we're playing 400 days. So apparently this branches season one and season two. So this is like a media area. It's like a halfway point. Um, big things happen, dude. Like, I, <laughs> if you want spoil it for you I can tell you but I'd rather just keep on playing the game at this point we've actually uh, let's just put it this way so uh, I'm about to like put out spoilers here so I know there's a 15 second delay so just go ahead and let me know whether or not you want me to spoil it for you do you want spoilers? I'll give you spoilers. All right, copy that. All right, spoilers. Okay, so I was playing as Lee, who is the black man, the black guy I was playing with. Well, here's the deal. We got to the school. We were able to find the fuel, the battery, and the gas. We got all those three things out. However, in the process, we got bit. Lee, myself, the black guy, got bit. I chose to tell the, the tell the group that I got bit. I got bit in the arm. I was able to dismember my arm. Literally, I cut off my arm to um, save me time. In the hectic like shit that was going down between 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 like finding the battery, the fuel, and uh, the medicine, I figured out that Clementine actually got kidnapped. By this crazy motherfucker and uh, this crazy guy actually <laughs> played back to episode I want to say three there was a scene where there was an empty car full of supplies and people didn't want me to take the supplies but we had just discovered that um, the farm that we were staying at do you remember the farm where those people were eating people uh, we left the farm, and on the way out from the farm, there was a car that was abandoned full of these supplies. I took those